Hey y'all. So I got to share this with y'all because I was in the shower cracking up y'all because I'm goofy and this is not even funny, but pay attention to how you hear people speak about the Lord and that will tell you what Lord and who they're talking to. And it will make sense to you. God says we don't wrestle against each other, but against the darkness in high places. And I'm pretty sure Satan got a kick out of the conversation with my ex-husband last night. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, y'all, um, most of you will know because I released a word this morning and sorry, the stripes from the sun is on my face. Um, but most of you will know. Um, but I released a word on it this morning if you have no idea what I'm talking about. But in the conversation, guys, last night, right? As I was uh, going back and forth with my ex-husband, like telling him what God is about to do. And he was pretty much denying and rejecting what I was saying, right? And I was like, cool. I was like, you're about to see because the true prophet, when they prophesy, they don't come to pass. They lied. I said, but we both about to see. I said, you about to see. So we were going back and forth. And <laughs> guys, this man goes, well, I have my own conversations with HG. And we laughed together and everything. So he was like, I'm rejecting what you're saying or whatever. He was denying what I was saying. He was like, I have my own conversations with HG. So yeah. So I'm like, HG? So the first thing I thought about was HGTV, the people who build houses, right? And most of y'all know what, I'm, what I mean. It's like a network, HGTV, and they just rebuild homes. So I'm like, he had a conversation with HG. I'm like, what? He about to try to get a house built to protect him from God's judgment? I'm like, who is HG? So I wrote him back or I spoke a text message back to him. And I'm like, HG? I was like, who is that? And he was like, the most high God, HG, high God. And I said, I know he lying. I said, my father's name is the Lord Jesus Christ. I said his name is not HG. This dude had done gave the Lord Jesus Christ a whole nickname of HG that don't even fit his name, y'all. I said, I'm thinking the man is talking about HGTV. This man done gave God a nickname, okay? HG, we don't talk to HG, okay? We talk to the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, we talk to the Lord Almighty. Jesus is his name. He says, at the sound of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Not at the sound of HG. I said, I know Satan is having a ball with this conversation, y'all. Because when he said HG, I got even a more holy, righteous anger. Because I'm like, I know you did not give my father Jesus a nickname of HG. That's like my name being Christina. I go by Nina and you call me Alexis as a nickname. That don't even matter. That's not even close. Okay, HG. But pay attention, guys, because that told me everything I needed to know about who my ex-husband speaks to on a daily basis, okay? And it's not the Lord Jesus Christ because when you know God and what he's done for you and the situations he's brought you out of, when he is in your heart, when you follow his commands, when you fear the Lord, you will call him nothing less than his name, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Almighty. Yes, he goes by different names, but at the sound of Jesus, every knee shall bow. We can't even get through to God without going first through who? Jesus his son, HG, like God. <laughs> and I'm laughing as I was in the shower, but it's not funny. And if you guys pay attention to how people speak about God, these little side nicknames and these side conversations where you know God is not really up, he's not in it. Screaming, Lord, Lord, but God says their hearts are far from me. What Lord are you talking about? Because if it's HG, then we're getting somewhere. Now we know why you're on the road that you're on. Because I don't say in the name of HG. I call my father Jesus. My friends, keep, sisters in Christ keep texting me. But I call my father Jesus. Jesus is his name. If you Spanish, you may say Jesus, okay? But if, you, if you're African American, we don't say Jesus. So you, you will not call him Jesus Jr. You will not call him HG. You will not call him THG for um, the high God or TMH, the most high. No, his name is Jesus. Guys, when my ex-husband said this, I said, I know Satan is over there cracking up listening to this conversation. 
I said, because my ex-husband is over here having a conversation with HG. Where does he live? Okay? Because it ain't in heaven with the Lord Jesus. Okay? He almost sounded like the man who emailed me and said, Yahweh said you were you um were about to be one of my wives. What Yah and Way are you talking to? Because it ain't Yahweh. It ain't the Lord Jesus. So whatever Yah and Way told you I was going to be one of your wives, Yah and Way lied. Okay? I said, this man said I talked to HG. And no lie, guys. I'm like, so HGTV, before I asked him, I'm like, HGTV done told him how to build a house or something to protect him from God's judgment. I was like, that ain't going to work. And he's talking about, no, HG, uh, the most high God, HG, sir. Jesus saves, bro. This cup don't say HG saves. My face is itching. Jesus saves. Jesus is his name. But if y'all pay attention to these conversations, because y'all will listen and you'll be like, I know y'all. you don't have a conversation, a, a, a relationship with God because you would not disrespect him and say HG. You might as well have called him Lil Bobo, okay? HG, if y'all listen to people, okay, you'll pray for them more because you'll start to understand that they do not know God. They scream, Lord, Lord, their hearts are far from him, guys. But I had to share that with y'all because I'm over here like, I know you did not just call my father HG. And guys, my, my sister in Christ, um, Jennifer, she always calls me Peterish. You know, Peter chopped off the man's ear. <laughs> like he got mad at the man. And on Jesus' behalf, okay, then chopped off uh, the man's ear for Jesus, okay? So my sister in Christ, Jennifer, she's always like, Nina, you Peterish. I will chop an ear off for my Lord Jesus, okay? I will be Peterish for Jesus. I was like, I. No, you did not just call my father HG, like the HGTV. Like, bruh, you will call him the Lord Jesus Christ. You will call him the Lord Almighty. You will, he is the Lord God, our Savior, but you will not give him a nickname of HG. That is not going to fly with me. I wanted to chop the ear off, y'all, but I fought spiritually because God is teaching me. I had my righteous anger, but I was like, Lord, I said, Lord, slap your child, slap your child. The Lord was like, he's in the waiting room. I got this. So just pay attention, y'all. I wanted to share that with y'all because Jesus saves, bro. Not HG. His name is Jesus and he deserves to be called the Lord Jesus, our Savior in Christ, the Lord Almighty himself, not minimized to the name of HG, which sounds like a, a hood gang name. Okay. Like, no. No, I was like, my father's name is the Lord Jesus Christ. I said, not HG. Like, no, you will not call him that. And guys, so many people, when they're talking to you about God and you hear them refer to God in uh, the universe or yeah, the most high, y'all better ask them the most high who? What's the rest of his name? A ask questions or just listen and you'll get an understanding of where their relationship is with the Lord, okay? If you just pay attention, it's right in front of you. But people overlook that stuff and they, oh, she believes in God, he believes in God, she's Christian, he's Christian. There's a difference between a Christian man and woman and a man and woman of God, okay? Christian, you you consider yourself a believer of some sort, okay? You, you believe in Christ. But a woman or man of God, his words, his commands, his ways, they're written in, in our hearts. We live by his word. We're not just Christian believers. We are men and women of God. And that's even important for you guys that are in a dating season. You don't want no Christian man. You want a man of God. Not somebody just that just has a scripture written on their arm, but somebody who walks by God's word every single day, wholeheartedly worshiping him, fearing him, uplifting him, that fears God, that hates what he hates and loves what he loves. That's all for this word, guys. I just had to share that with y'all because I was literally in the shower cracking up, even though it wasn't funny, but I'm like, I know you ain't give, that's like calling me 
Lil Momo. That it just does not go. I, I won't accept. And Jesus does not accept. So I love y'all. Uh, I'll be back on, I'm sure, because I have the Bibles over here, the notebooks, uh, getting ready to, to study for these other two dreams for y'all as I'm working um, and sipping on some coffee. But I wanted to share, pay attention to what people say, because that'll tell you a lot about them. And God will begin to speak to you, to tell you in reveal to you um, what type of person they are and what's really in these people's hearts. And it'll save you a lot of heartache trying to choose your own relationships, not just um, intimate relationships, but friendships with people. Allow God to connect it, guys. Otherwise, they're going to be praising HG and you're going to be praising the Lord Jesus. My face is itching. And um, how can two walk together unless they agree? Okay. Makes sense why me and my ex-husband, he didn't agree with me and what God is about to bring upon his life. And I didn't agree with him and who him talking to HG and laughing with HG because the, the HG he was laughing with, he is not our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. So pay attention, y'all. I love y'all. Have a good day. Bye.